Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the Baofeng G11S GMRS radio. And we're going to get to it right after this. Okay, the items that come in the box, you get an owner's manual, two wrist straps, two mic earpieces, battery for each radio, the radio, antenna for each radio, a belt clip for each radio, this wall wart, and you get a USB-C cable so you can charge both of the radios at the same time. Okay, I'm starting with the right side of the radio here. This is where you'd plug in external mic or the programming cable. It's the two-prong style, very common in Baofeng, Kenwood. On the opposite side, this top button up here, this is for the light on top. Give you a little flashlight, some sort of distress light. You have the push to talk, and then on the bottom, this is for radio stations. And you just push the up or down arrow and it'll scan to the next available station. Or if you use the programming software, I think you can program it in manually. Menu button up here on the top right. You have 14 total menus you can use. Starting with one, you have your uh, receive code, transmit code, and both of those are for the CTCSS or DCS. Your squelch, if you want the light on or off, beep on or off, vox, different timers. There's your timeout timer, ringtone, the voice if you want it in Chinese or English, and how to reset the radio, and wide narrow. If you program anything into the front, you cannot put in an alphanumeric tag. You have to use the software for that. Bottom right button will lock the radio if you hold it. You see the little padlock show up up here on the top left. Hold it again to unlock it. Quick press if you want to switch between the A channel and the B channel. It has this little arrow that goes back and forth. Bottom left, quick press it and it puts you on the weather channels. And you have 11 of those on this radio. Quick press it again, takes you back out. And if you hold it in, you get the monitor, which opens up the squelch so you can hear some of the more faint stations out there. Scan, it allows you to scan through the channels. Just hold it, it'll scan through until it finds somebody talking. Press and hold it again to stop. On the top, it showed you already have the flashlight, you have your volume power knob, the antenna mount, this light right here that indicates whether you're transmitting or receiving. I've been using the Baofeng G11S for a few weeks now. I've taken it camping a couple times. It's been very well built. I've been very impressed with how strong it is. The plastic doesn't seem like some thin, fragile stuff that'll break. It's been dropped a couple times and it's survived. Everything works well. I've had good range with it. It's also a comfortable radio to use. It's not too bulky. At the time of filming this video, the radio costs $59.99 and you get two radios with that. In the radio, you have 22 simplex style channels. Now channels eight through 14, those are shared FRS channels. Therefore, the power will always be low. You cannot change it to high. Then channels 23 to 30, those are your eight repeater channels. And they do repeat so that you can program the repeaters based on where you go. Now per the manual, this thing you can scan from 136 to 174 megahertz and 400 to 512 megahertz. It's a total of 30 GMRS channel transmissions compatible with the FRS. 10 selectable call, call alerts, 258 privacy codes, which consists of 50 CTCSS and 208 DCS codes. You have the SOS emergency function, which is the strobe flashlight. The frequency steps that it can be set to is 2.5, 5, 6.25, 10, 12.5, and 25 kilohertz. Again, it can be 
charged using type C USB. And the manual says that the output power is five watts, but on the website, it will show three watts. And again, you have the 11 NOAA weather channels. Okay, once you're at radiodity.com, go up to consumer radios and then click on FRS GMRS radios. Scroll down a couple rows, look for the G11S, open that page. And there's two ways to download the software. You can either go through support and then over to Baofeng or just scroll down a little and where it says click here, you'd be able to download the manual and the software. Before you do, you're going to need a programming cable and you can buy them from Radiodity for $9.99. This page has all kinds of good information on what all the radio can do. So let's go ahead and get the software. So what you're going to do is Click here, scroll down again to you find G11S, open it up, it'll open this little window and you can download the software or the manual. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna redo it. Once you have it done, you just open your software up. And then before you go and download from the radio, click on settings and make sure your COM port is set properly. Once you've got that done, hit OK. You can either use the arrow, blue arrow with the radio, or you can go to program and download from there. This does download pretty quick. Now, one of the things I found very odd and was also mentioned on Ham Radio Dude's video, for some reason, they've pre-populated all these channels all the way up to repeater 8 with CTCSS, and DCS codes. That's all well and good if you and someone else are using the same radio, the Baofeng G11S, but if your friend is trying to use a GMRS V1 from BTEC, it's not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to talk to each other. And the only way to fix that, you're gonna have to go through and individually turn all of these off. That's the only way to solve that problem. Hopefully if enough people complain about it, they will stop doing it. Now you get your 22 simplex channels. Some of these are locked out. You notice some of these, the power is set to low. That cannot be changed. Then you have eight repeaters. And then after the eighth one, it repeats at DIY one. And you have 24 of those. What this allows you to do is have several repeaters in different locations that you may travel to. In my case, we're gonna be working on repeater six. I'm going to, first, we're gonna change the name for Santiago Peak, and you do not get a lot of character space for that. Then we're gonna kill the CTCSS codes they have in here. And I'm gonna need 146.2 and make sure everything else is correct. You got your power set, wide or narrow, if you want it to skip or not. And then once you got that done, if you want to monitor a couple of ham frequencies, let's come down to the bottom. We'll start with the national calling frequency and input that one. That's not going to allow you to have a, a transmit frequency because you're not allowed to transmit on those bands. You don't have to worry about any of this because you're not transmitting anyways. Give it a tag, in this case, national call. And then the next one we're going to do is a local repeater. And again, no transmit frequency allowed. Go ahead and give it a tag, in this case, Clara. Now, once you have everything set in here that you want, on the right side are your menu options. They have a squelch setting, zero to nine. Timeout timer, we'll change that one to 120 seconds. And if you want the English, Chinese, or off, I'm gonna do off, I don't wanna hear the voice. Turn the beep off. Backlight, I'm gonna leave that on. And once you have everything set the way you want it, go ahead and write to the radio. Now let's go ahead and see uh, how well this worked. 
Okay, now that we've programmed everything in with the computer, let's see if it all took. Yeah, there we have the Clara repeater that we put in. And we have the national call. And we'll see if we get anything with the repeater we put in for Santiago. WRNM 3D2 testing. All right, it looks like it worked out well. Now let's go ahead and test the power on this thing, see if we're getting the full three watts. Okay, first we're gonna use channel one. And it's set for high power. And we're getting about two and a half watts, about 2.3 watts. And then we're on channel eight, and you can see down here, which has low power. And on low probably get about three tenths of a watt. Okay, have it set for my local repeater, the Santiago on channel A. It's in high power. And you get about 2.3 watts. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.